Today on Trisha. I love, I love her. I love her. What's wrong? Right? What is it about the way she looks that makes you think she's not your daughter? Families in turmoil. When I told him I was pregnant, he made a whole lot of promises. He said that he would be here for her, come see her. Two babies born within a week of each other. Do they look alike? They can be twins. Their mothers both claim that this man is the father. Has he seen your baby? Never. Champ says they're conning him. Sue Let you. me get my money. How about that? Sue me. Give me my $400. Sue me. A DNA test will reveal the real con artist. Champ, the DNA test determined that Champ. Oh boy, you need to get a vasectomy or something. <laughs> Two sisters. Get out my face. We was playing. Oh. One man. I feel deep down in my heart that Zandria and Cortez is messing around. We ain't never had sex. What secrets are these two keeping? Just some, some things that need to come out. Tim? A lie detector determined. Oh! Get out my face! Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen, listen. This couple planned the birth of their daughter. You sit down and you decide you're gonna have a baby together. You have the baby and then you go, oh, it's not my baby, is that right? But now Buddy claims 11-month-old Malia looks nothing like him. That ain't my nose, that ain't my lips. Lie detectors, DNA and family feuds. Get away from me! Today on Trisha. She was conned by this man, Champ. She's here to prove he's the father of her 10-month-old son, Chandler. Now, listen to this. Backstage is another woman, Princess, who also says Champ is denying her 10-month-old daughter. Now, these two have never even met, even though their children were born one week apart. <laughs> Claims these women are trying to trap him into fatherhood. Yeah, it's all a big conspiracy. So before these two meet in person, take a look at their stories. I know that Champ is the father of my son Chandler, and the bottom line is Chandler is going to have both of his parents in his life. And he's also denying my daughter a Kennedy. When I met Princess on Facebook and she told me he was denying her daughter, I was not shocked. I know what it's like not to have a father. I don't want that for either one of my children. He thinks Princess and I are conspiring against him to bring him down. He's conspiring against himself. You lay down with women, create more than one child, don't want to deal with what happens after the child gets here. When I told him I was pregnant, he made a whole lot of promises, but he's broken every single one. He said that he would be here for her, come see her, and all this other crap, and none of that has ever happened. I don't care what he thinks. At the end of the day, all we want is for him to be a part of these kids' life. He knows she exists and not be there for her. It's not right. Right. Now, before we talk about Champ, what I want to do is bring Princess out here. This is going to be the very first time she meets you, Twyla, face to face. So please welcome Princess. each other that, that he no, was... No, we never knew about each other. And yet your babies are just one, one week, week apart. One week apart. So were you surprised when, when Princess reached out to you? I was not surprised because this is something Champ does. And I know that he's doing her like that. He's doing me the same exact way. But at the end of the day, Champ needs to be a part of a Chandler's life and he needs to be a part of a Kennedy life because it doesn't make any sense. He needs to man up. Here's the problem. I understand that Champ thinks you two are trying to con him. You're, you're trying to get for something what? out of him. What can we get from him? There's nothing we can get right from now. him. He don't even have a job. He can't even file. Champ cannot even file a legal income tax. He don't oh. even have a job. Hang on. I thought, I thought he was a. I thought he was like a big club promoter. He's a giant <laughs> promoter. <laughs> 
So he has has he seen your baby? Never. And you think he's done this to quite a few other women out there? Several. Sure. Several. Oh. Okay. Here's the question. Oh, do, oh, do, do, this brother and sister, do they look alike? They, wow. Yeah. What do you think? They yeah. look exactly alike. They look, they can be twins. Right. That's so sweet. <laughs> so what do you want to happen if, if Champ is proved today? And he he will be. The, well, there's no doubt that he's Chandler's he father. Be. He will be well, proved what, what, today. What do you want to I want for him to man up. are innocent. Chandler nor Akinsey can defend for themselves. We're their defenders. Exactly. And he needs to be in their life. All right. Please welcome Chuck to the show. Really? Hi. Really? Yeah. Uh. I understand that you, um, you kind of put the call out on Facebook that you were coming to the show. Yeah, let them know. Yeah, well, yeah. I, want, I, I, I want the people from where we from to see this. Well, you know, yeah. But, since I'm a janky promoter. Oh, you know, very much. I, but I, very but that much, night that we did much, get together was much, at one of my parties. Very much, so you need to find your much, baby daddy that came much. to my janky party. You had party. daddy. You oh, had yeah. daddy. But you know what? We I'm glad you got out. the people so you out. can be shamed in front of your out. people. We could have did this. Same we could have did this from the beginning. But we did. At the chance we did. Well, but we did. But we did. But we did. We're going to do it now. You want to do this? And since they look like twins, maybe y'all had the same dude, so he the man. He the man. You the dad. You the dad. Get on down. Champ, why do you think these women, do you think these women are trying to play you? Why yeah, would they want to do right that? here, yeah. right, Twyla was a mistake. You hear me? I went a to mistake. a party. A uh, mistake. Uh, mistake. Uh, M-I-S-T-A-K-E. Okay. Real talk. Yeah. I, went, I had a party. How was she a mistake? I was drunk, right? I get a text, right? Yes. And they say, yo, uh, can I come through? Now, I'm thinking it's somebody that I really do want to deal with. You feel me? And I'm like, oh, So she turns up at the door instead. This ain't who I'm thinking I'm texting. Yeah. But it's 3 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm talking about? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Really? It's after the... You don't think you're lying. It's after the... You don't know what's on my mind, so you can't tell me that. You're saying it's just one time. One time. And I hear her tell y'all months. Why do you think? Uh, how many other women are claiming their babies are yours? I like how many I women have four are claiming? sons. Four me? sons. Four boys. Four boys me? that you, you know me? of. That I know I have. To four how many boys. moms? You hear me? How many moms? Three. Three. Three moms. Right. How old Listen to me now. I, I don't care about what on. you hear. Cause uh, see, they talking on Facebook to each other. They have, gonna say anything. No, I'm not talking on Facebook. Facebook. I'm Everybody trying to talk when to you. I make Just a minute, princess. You and all your groupies. Where you mad? Where you mad? Why you mad? Undoubtedly, what made it's them, undoubtedly what made them, my group is made too, my group. But tell me something. If the, I don't know what the DNA test says. If it comes back that both of these children are yours, is anything going to change? No, he's still going to be a daddy. Of course. No, of course. Let, let him talk. Let him of talk. course. Yeah. I'm going to be in a child life, but not daylight. You know, I don't want to be here. Oh, hang on. So, just a minute, just a minute. Seriously, you said you can't read? No, I'm just oh, oh, I was going to No, you know, because I thought that's why you were having problem reading the instructions on the condom package. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, yeah. what I'm saying, if she got pregnant, then I didn't have to read the instructions because it wasn't a condom. You feel it me? was a condom. He took it off. I, I oh. took it. <laughs> this is for this is for your son Chandler. Yeah. Okay. So, who would like to open the envelope? Coming up. Okay. So here we go. You ready for this, sir? Champ, the DNA test determined that Chandler. But first. 
You ask for the truth and then you run away from it. And that explains yeah, it all. Get out my face! All right, get out okay. my face! All right. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen, listen. And later, you decide you're going to have a baby together. You have the baby and then you go, oh, it's not my baby. Is that right? That ain't my nose to make my lips. Lie detectors, DNA, and family feud. Get out my face! Today on Trisha. So, this is Capria. Backstage is Capria's sister, Zandria. Now, growing up without parents, these sisters learned to depend on each other, and they believed that their bond was unbreakable. Until this man, Cortez, came along. Yeah, now Cortez is Capria's boyfriend, and the problem? Well, on Valentine's Day, Capria caught her boyfriend taking her sister out to dinner. Oh. Yep, and what's worse, when Capria comes home, they're cuddling on the couch together. Oh. Watch this. I met Cortez through Zandria, and I know they're best friends and all, but that doesn't get him the right to be buddy-buddy. I feel deep down in my heart that Zandria and Cortez is messing around, and it would kill me to find out if they are. I come in from work, my sister got her head in Cortez's lap, they laying there watching TV, what they doing is inappropriate and it hurts me. On Valentine's Day, I come home from work, there's a note on the door saying that baby I took Zandria out for Valentine's Day to Red Lobster. Okay, but where's my gifts? There's no chocolates, cards, flowers, nothing. When I confront them, they laugh, they say I'm tripping, and I just feel like this is not funny. I'm hurt off this. I really think it's something going on between them. So, Capri, I can see you're really upset about this. You walked in and they were on the couch. What were they doing on the couch? Yeah. She had her head in his lap. You don't do that to me, even though y'all are friends. Y'all yeah. don't do that. That's wrong. It's wrong. Wow. Did you say? What did you say? I didn't say anything. I just went to the back and did with my usual get, you know, take a shower, get ready to go to bed, and get up. But for you the were next hurt. Day to work. You were hurting. I'm very hurt. So when you confront them with their behavior, what do they say? We was friends before we even got together. That's what Cortez said to me. Oh. I don't care, Cortez. You still my boyfriend. Why would y'all do that to me? Like that's. That's not, it's not right at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm hurt off that. I'm yeah. hurt. And today, I kind of found out what's going on because if it's something going on, Cortez, you got to go. And Zandy, I'm cool on you. You cut off. What if you find out that he's cheating on you with someone and it's not your sister? He's still going to get cut off. He's going to get cut off? Yeah. I don't okay. need nobody like that in my life. I don't need that. And you you don't need to, that feeling of betrayal. What if you find out this is all in your head and the guy's been faithful to you? Then what? I'll get on my knees today. If that test come back that they're not doing nothing, I'll get on my knees and apologize to both of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Capria's sister, Zandria, claims that this is not what it looks like, and she's taken a lie detector test to prove it. So, before we get to the results, let's meet her. Zandria, come on out. You know what, Maria? First of all, let me tell you something. We done been through too much for you to sit up there and accuse me of me with Cortez. You know I would never do that to you. Zandy, I don't want to hear sister. that. I'm your sister. I don't want to hear I'm that. I'm your sister. I, man, whatever. You would never. Zandy, Come on, get out of my face. We was oh. friends. I don't care. Hey, it's hey, true, hey, Zandy. Hey, 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 hey. Speak to you, Zandria. Okay. So, so Zandria, you're saying there's nothing going on between you and Cortez. That's what I'm saying. You've been friends for how many years? We've been friends for about ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Is it true that when your sister came home one time, she found you on the couch with you, with your head in his lap? Everything is true. Really? Yeah, and is that okay? She's been saying is true. Is that okay for, for you to be like that? Uh, that's know? my best friend. Zandy, that's it my don't best matter, friend. Zandy. That's my best Zandy, friend. Zandy, it don't matter. Okay, but it don't matter. A friendship, can, go, a friendship don't can only matter. go so far, Zandy. It don't matter. It don't matter. matter. That's, don't that's matter. my man, though. It don't that's matter. Y'all need to have enough matter. respect. Y'all do, do in my house. Where okay. they do that at? All right, let me, let me, let me. 
let me ask, let me ask your sister something else. How close are you and Cortez? Close it don't. intimately. If that's on, what let, you're let, asking. Me, let me find out. So you introduced him to your sister. Yes, I did. Do you think he's the right man for her? No, I don't. Now, because no, I don't. Why? It's it's just some some things that need to come out. Like, honey, I'm not the one you need to be worried about. I'll tell you that much. Like I said, Cortez is my best friend. This is my sister. I so love you, my you sister haven't crossed the line. Anything. You haven't kissed him. You haven't had oh, any no. sexual contact with him or anything. <laughs> God, no. Why you laughing then? Why you laughing? Because why it's, you laughing? You know what? The situation is hurting me for real because of the way my sister feels right now. You see how they, she think it's funny? I do. It's I not it's, funny. It, I'm hurt. I'm hurt, baby. Maria, I care that you hurt. You my sister, and I love you very much. I don't know what you thought was going on, but that's what it is. Cortez is not in love with you the way you're in love with him. And I don't know, I didn't know how to tell what you that. You, you could have told me this instead of us coming all the way out here making a fool out of but myself. You made a fool out of yourself. I know I did. So what? It don't matter, but you knew I was calling You did that. But you knew I was you calling it that. Okay. All right, look, there is one final person to meet in this whole love triangle or friendship triangle, whatever you want to call it, Cortez. Now, we're going to meet him and hear the results of the lie detector test right after this. Up next. The lie detector determined. And it explains it all, it? And later. You decide you're gonna have a baby together. You have the baby, and then you go, "Oh, it's not my baby." Is that right? That ain't my nose. That ain't my lips. Lie detectors, DNA, and family feud. Get out my face! Today on Trisha. Welcome back, welcome back. Now, we've been talking to Capria, who has come here today, convinced that the person she is closest to in the whole world, her own sister, Zandria, is secretly sleeping with her boyfriend, Cortez. Now, both Cortez and Zandria have taken a lie detector test, but before we hear the results, let's meet the guy in the middle. Let's meet Cortez. Come on out. Hello? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So what's going on? The issue is between these two, and that's what needs to be resolved. This is my love. I do love her. There ain't no secrets. I don't know what's up with that. But this right here, this is my love. I love Capri, and I just want this bickering stuff to end between y'all two, and I just want us to be happy and have a healthy relationship. About? So how come that she comes home and finds her sister with her head in your lap? We ain't, like Zinni said, she's telling the truth there. We ain't never had sex. We just best friends. That, We've been wow. best friends before I even met you. That's how I met you. So she's the only person that you've had a sexual relationship with yes. since the two of you got together. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Just then. I mean, Promise. yes. I mean, just besides in the beginning of our relationship before we got official, I did have sex with my ex, but she did as well. So we admitted that we're cool there, but other than that, with her sister, never. You know it's gonna hurt her if she walks through the door and sees her sister with her head in your lap. Duh. That's she gonna hurt asleep. her. She fell asleep. Where they do that at? We watched the movie, we it ate each other, she fell though. asleep. It I fell matter. asleep too. Why can't we you was both sit asleep. on the love seat and she sit on the long couch? You weren't close up together. You had your head! No, you making it like we was grinding and all. No, no. What about Valentine's right. Day? We had lunch and you had to work. It don't matter. Y'all could have said Priya, meet me. When you get out, come come to wherever y'all want. Red lobsters. You ain't say nothing. You could have leaked that some candy. But the truth is, cards, they done had flowers, issues way something. before me. You ain't leaked nothing. Oh. Truth is, they done been nothing. had issues. Y'all been had issues before Man, me. So? so why would I bring y'all together for a fight? Just to watch y'all argue? That I ain't think they were meant to be close. Nah, they've been had issues before me. You brought him here for a lie detector test, so our lie detector administrator, Tim Acosta, is in the audience here with the results of the lie detector test. So, 
Let's start with Zandria's, uh, excuse me, her lie detector results. Let's have a look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the question that Take Tim asked of Zandria. What she... Why are you taking your shoes off? Just, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. I'm not giving the results until you put your shoes back on because I know what that means. You can get angry, but when people start taking off their shoes, I know what that means. All right, so Tim, are we ready? Yes, we, we are. asked, Andrea, we asked you, is there a part of you that likes making your sister jealous? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was not truthful. Oh. Like you said, they maybe had issues. We asked you, have you ever hit on Cortez? And you said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was not truthful. Oh. We asked you, when Cortez took you to Red Lobster on your Valentine's Day, were you guys on a date? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was not truthful. Oh. You said there. We asked you, is Cortez keeping a secret from... Hang on. We asked you, is Cortez keeping a secret from Capria that you are aware of? Oh, and you said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined she was telling the truth. We asked you, is the secret Cortez is keeping from Capria that he is in love with you? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was not truthful. Whoa. We asked you, in the past two years, have you ever had sexual contact with Cortez? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was not truthful. Hang on. And it was more than 10 times. Oh, we asked her. Oh, no, get out of here. Oh, that's that's Tell him, say it again. Hang on, we heard everything. You lying. You lying. I love, you lying. Her. I love her. What's wrong? Hang on. No, for me. Sorry. <laughs> you asked for the truth and then you run away from it. This is the problem. Get Capria? away from me. Capria. <laughs> okay. Stop, stay here, darling. I don't know. All right. Okay, do you want to hear the whole thing? No. Okay, I, we this haven't heard... not true. Well, I don't true. know. We haven't heard everything. It ain't true. Okay. I love you. All right. I don't love her. There might be something that explains it. Get out it all. my face! All right, get out okay. my face! All right, give her some room. Can you read his? Yeah, well, we, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, this is... Back out. Yeah. I know, she's not going to go back out. Okay. Oh hey, God, hey, 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 listen, 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 do you, listen, do you want to, I don't know what the full story is, do you want to hear the full story or do you want to just go off halfway through? Okay? All right. Come on, Anne. You want to go ahead of us? These guys have been friends for, what, 10 years? And they said they've had a friendship way, way, way before all of this, so there may well be an explanation. Okay. Okay, let him go through. You go through that way. We'll come around this way. Watch your feet. Okay, it takes a lot of courage to come. But you... Okay. Watch yourself. Okay. I'm proud. Okay, I'm going to put you... Now... There are two sides to this, and we also gave Cortez a lie detector test. Yes, I did, Okay, Trisha. so can I have his questions? Uh, I have the results, Trisha. Oh, you have the results? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I did a test on Cortez last night. I spent uh, approximately two hours with him. I asked him <laughs> the same questions that I asked Zandria, basically covering everything that I covered with her. Yeah. I even included the person that he says... Uh, Capria knows that he had sex with in the beginning of their relationship. Right. So I asked him, has he had any sexual contact in the last two years with anyone other than uh, Capria? Yeah. And he said no, and he was not truthful. I asked him if he had sex several times, any sexual contact, with Zandria. He was not truthful. He had significant reactions to every single question that I asked him concerning Zandria. Could it be, could it be, hang on, let me ask you something. Could it be because... Like, how can I put this? With a friendship that crosses lines and people become aroused, though they don't see it as sexual, part of their body reacts in a sexual way, but they still see their friends. I mean... Absolutely. Some... The, the whole oh. question was, 
sexual contact. So if one gets aroused in some way sexually, Correct. whether they want they to admit react, it or yes. not, it will come up as a as sexual Absolutely. contact. Absolutely. I love you, but you cut off. I love you, and you cut off. Don't cut your sister off this young in life. You know, let's say you're on the planet for another 40 or 50 years. This is the closest person to you. You seriously, in 30 years time, you're going to look back and say, we haven't spoken for all that time. Because remember that boy, what was his name anyway? You know, right. you hear what I'm saying? You've got a long life in front of you. Right. What I, what I mean by cutting off is there's no more hanging out with her. But if she need me for anything, I'm always going to be there no matter what. You'll still be there. I'll so. still be there no matter what, but I don't want nothing to do with her. But if she called and say, Priya, I need you, I'm there. Because that's my sister. I'm always going to be there for my sister, but I don't want nothing to do with her. I don't even want to look at her right now. I'd say give it time. Yeah. We'll be right back after this. Up next... You decide you're going to have a baby together. You have the baby, and then you go, oh, it's not my baby. Is that right? That ain't my nose. That make my lips. And later. OK, so here we go. You ready for this? So, Champ, the DNA test determined that Champ looks You are the fuck. You're up on stage. DNA and Family Feud. Get out my face! Today on Trisha. Please welcome Aisha. Now, Aisha is here today because this man, Buddy, denies he is the father of her 11 month old daughter, Malia. She's so cute. Now, not only does Buddy say Malia looks nothing like him, he also accuses Aisha of being a cheater. Yeah. Now get this, Buddy's own mother, Donna, is also here today and she wants her son to shut up, man up, and be a father to his daughter. Yeah. Have a look at Aisha's story. I am here today because I want my boyfriend, Buddy, to stop denying that he is the father of our 11-month-old daughter, Maria. Our daughter does not deserve this treatment or rejection from her own father. Buddy does not believe that Malia is his daughter because he claims she is too dark, does not look like him or his other child. Now how ridiculous does that sound? I am sick and tired of Buddy not accepting our child because he thinks I've cheated on him with other guys. I have never cheated on Buddy and I have always been faithful. Thank God for Buddy's mom, Donna. She accepted our daughter as her grandchild from the very beginning. If it wasn't for Donna, I don't know how I would get through this nightmare. I'm not worried about this paternity test because it will prove without a doubt that Buddy is Malia's father. I just want Buddy to know the truth once and for all that Malia is his daughter so that we can just move forward with our lives. Yeah. So, Aisha, you have an unusual ally in Buddy's mom Donna. I'm like a second daughter to her. She doesn't have any doubt. She has no doubt at all. And Buddy does. Yep. Wow. So, if the DNA test proves that Malia is not Buddy's daughter, what would it do to your relationship? Nothing, because that's not going to happen. That's not even <laughs> a possibility. It's not a possibility. It's not a possibility. Okay. <laughs> so, when? In your words, when the DNA test comes back and proves that Malia is Buddy's daughter, will things change? I hope so. I just want to move forward and be happy. I just want it all to go behind us. Okay, well, before we bring out Buddy, let's hear what he had to say. I came on the show because I don't believe Malia is my daughter and I need some proof. I have strong doubts that she's not my daughter because, for one, she's dark as hell, for two, she don't look nothing like me and she don't look nothing like my other daughter. Aisha and I, we've been together for two years now, and it's to the point where I don't trust her and I feel like she's just been cheating on me with other guys. I, I used to think I'm mean and nasty when it comes to her baby, Malia, but hell, I guess the truth hurt. The baby ain't mine. It really pisses me off when my mom takes Aisha's side about some baby instead of taking my side when I'm her son. She's supposed to be defending me. My mother really needs to mind her own business and support my decision when I say I ain't that baby's father. 
If it turns out Malia is my daughter, then I will step up to the plate and do the right thing. If it turns out that I am not Malia's father, then it's gonna be hell to pay because it's gonna prove my suspicions was right and Aisha's a liar and she's a cheater. All I want is the truth about Malia. I just wanna know if that's my daughter or not. We've got Aisha in tears, so I think it's time we meet Buddy. Come on out, Buddy. Hi, Buddy, have a seat. So, I thought you planned the pregnancy. And he did. Yeah, it was planned, yeah, it was planned, it was planned. But at the same time, though, like I said, you Hang know, on. I got... so it's planned. You, you sit down and you decide you're gonna have a baby together. You have the baby and then you go, oh, it's not my baby, is that right? No, no, that ain't, that ain't what it was. You know, I showed up, I was there, you know, I played my role. I've been here, you know well, what I'm saying? Well, you played your role when you supplied the sperm. Yeah. Oh. No, I played my role. No, 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 no. Look, I played my role by even still being here. What does your mum say about this? Does your mum think well, this mom, is your yeah, baby? My mum, she think it's my baby. Let's look at this. If the paternity test comes back and says that Malia is your daughter, will anything change? Yeah. Somebody I mean, said no. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to know no. what you're talking Hang about. On. You don't think anything would change? Why not? Stand up. Tell me why not. Why do you think nothing's going to change? Well, because people are going to be who they are. All right? Whether there's a DNA paper that's saying that they're the parent or not, it shouldn't matter. If you love each other, then you should be a family. Then you should be a family. I've raised kids that are not my own. Oh, buddy, you want to... This gentleman's saying he's raised kids that are not his own. You be a sucker. I ain't no, a sucker. How about... <laughs> How about I'm taking care, care, kids, I'm taking oh, care of the father that didn't step up like you? What you mean? I'm, what you mean? What you mean? You don't know what you're talking about. All right, all right. I want to hear what your mom has to say in all of this, so let's welcome Donna. Hi. Donna, what do you think when you hear your son talk like that? It's embarrassing because I raised him better. All because that's not his nose. That's <laughs> what? You didn't go to medical school. That is your daughter. A lot of people, buddy, are going to be looking at you and looking at your mom and saying, did your mom ever turn around and say, that's not my son. He's darker than me. You're not seeing me. a family history. Okay. It ain't like I haven't been there playing, father. I've been, uh, who's been there? All right, you know, okay, me... but those words you give, they always hurtful. So you, you know she's uh, yours. We plan her together. Together, but okay. Okay, okay. okay. All right. All right, let me hear She you works about. two jobs, goes to school. She don't, when does she have time to cheat? Well, Sam, when she got pregnant, though, she wasn't living with me, no. though. She, she gave him a clean to her apartment. And oh. my sister can say, yeah, yeah. I know her. Yeah. Yeah. What can I possibly do when you can come to my house at any time of the day, any time of night, whatever? Let's come to get the results yes. of the yeah. DNA test. Yeah. Um, since you're the one questioning things, buddy, maybe you should be the one to open the envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it says. Here we go. Oh, that thing. All right. Let's see. You are the father. Okay, y'all. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't Coming up. By questioning Malia, you've really dragged Aisha's name through the mud. And later. Okay. So here we go. You ready for this? So, Tim, the DNA test determined that Chandler. <laughs> Lie detectors, DNA, and family feud. Get out my face! Today on Trisha. I came on the show because I don't believe Malia is my daughter. I am sick and tired of Buddy not accepting our child because he thinks I've cheated on him with other guys. It really pisses me off when my mom takes Aisha's side about some baby instead of taking my side when I'm her son. She's supposed to be defending me. Donna, what do you think when you hear your son talk like that? It's embarrassing because I raised him better. You know she's yours. We plan her together. What would you do if a DNA test came back and said that your son is not Millie's yeah, father? Yeah, what? Uh, well, that's, that's not, not going to happen. Let's come to get the results yeah. of the DNA test. Um, since you're the 
one questioning things, buddy, maybe you should be the one to open the envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what it says. Here we go. Look at that thing. All right, let's see. You are the father. Okay, y'all. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, that's, that's my baby. Exactly. something to you by questioning Malia you've really dragged Aisha's name through the mud through and you're just gonna look and say oh, yeah, okay I'm sorry. I think come on yeah way. come on yeah. come on yeah. you have an amazing mum in all of this I just want to really congratulate you Up next. Okay, so here we go. You ready for this? So, Tim, the DNA test determined that Chandler. You are the guy. You're up on stage. Lie detectors, DNA, and family feud. Get out my face! Today on Trisha. I know that Champ is the father of my son Chandler, and the bottom line is, Chandler is going to have both of his parents in his life. And he's also denying my daughter a Kennedy. When I met Princess on Facebook and she told me he was denying her daughter, I was not shocked. I know what it's like not to have a father. I don't want that for either one of my children. I don't care what he thinks. At the end of the day, all we want is for him to be a part of these kids' life. He knows she exists and not be there for her. It's not right. How many kids do you think we're talking about? To be honest, I don't know how kids. many kids he has. What? And I feel like if, that you, if that's what you're going to do, homeboy, you need to get a vasectomy or something. <laughs> right. If it comes back that both of these children are yours, is anything going to change? No, he's still going to be a daddy. Of course. Of course. Let him talk. Let him of talk. Of course. Yeah. I'm going to be in a child life, but not daylight. You know, I don't want to be here. No, I won't do it. Oh, I thought that's why you were having problem reading the instructions on the condom package. <laughs> DNA test results. This is for this is for your son Chandler. Yeah, yeah okay. So who would like to open the envelope? I want him to open, I it. open it. I want him to oh, open you're it. Oh, you open it. Okay. Both of them. Let's let's compute. Oh, both of them. Okay. So here we go. You ready for this? So Tim, the DNA test determined that Chandler is your son. What? What? Favor, okay, because as much as it's been lovely meeting you, I don't want to meet you for the rest of the series every day of the week. <laughs> so, can we get a nice tight shot on um, yeah. Champ? If you see this man, A, cross the street. <laughs> B, if he tries to talk to you, cross your arms. <laughs> And see if he makes a move on you, cross your legs. He'll be back up. Lie detectors, DNA, and family feud. Get out my face! Today on Trisha. Thank you for watching. I just want to remind you that this is a real show about real people and real solutions. So thank you for joining me today. And thank you. Yeah.